Greetings, Cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from the jacuzzi of the rooftop entertainment area in the Lakeside Villa in this Let's Play Minecraft survival series. In the previous episode, we were pimping this place out, and in this episode, my friends, we are going to be jazzifying the Lakeside Villa Lounge with a jukebox and some sweet ass records. And we're then going to be heading back to Silkworm Gang Island to work on the underwater tunnel before we return to the island for the last part of season three. So please, guys, sit back and relax. I hope you got a tasty ass beverage and some crunchy ass snacks. Give me one moment. Mm. Caffeine straight to the brain. Let's play some Minecraft survival. Now guys, since you were last with me, I've been doing a little bit more work on the upstairs entertainment area around here. And as you can see, it is looking pretty awesome. I've added some more of this glass painage to go around the circumference of this wall over here, just to sort of break up the monotony, monotony of it. I've also added these sweet-ass glowstone pillars to bring some light into the corners of this upstairs area. I've added a little... This is like a... This is like an intimate little couch over here, man. If you want to, you know... You want to you wanna come and sit here with one of your sweet-ass lady friends to have a nice... Uh, um, private conversation you can come and chill here with your zombie brain cocktails and have a nice chat in the corner over here I've also added water into this section over here so this is I guess like another little swimming area feature but um you know water is always like a, a nice peaceful thing to have around an entertainment area so if you're chilling over here on the bar stool talking to the barman telling him all your secrets and all of your like, all of the bad things in your life you have a nice little bit of calm water next to you to keep your ass calm so uh, I really like how this upstairs area has turned out looking pretty freaking sweet man let me take you guys back down into the kitchen area of the lakeside villa I've also done a little bit of work over here as you can see I've just moved the chest out of the middle I've added a furnace and a crafting table and a couple of big chests and some glowstone lamps and a couple of boards over here uh, and yeah this is looking kind of cool you know it's, it was kind of like an awkward space to work with um, we've got like these weird ass like angles that I built over here and I don't know it was just kind of a weird space to work with but I think this works pretty well um, you know all this room really needs to do is hold some items for us uh, have a furnace have a have a crafting table in it and uh, that's pretty much what it does um so this is looking pretty sweet guys but what i want to do in this in this episode today is add one more thing to the lakeside villa lounge and one of you guys suggested this in the comments of the previous video one of you guys suggested adding a jukebox into this lounge so that we can get some sweet ass jazz going while we're chilling in there and this time i mean jazz quite literally <laughs> usually i i mean jazz and some other way but this time I actually mean I just mean jazz music <laughs> so I'm gonna make a jukebox and the way that we do this is by surrounding a diamond with some uh, plankage and as you can see that makes a, a sweet ass jukebox so let's make that bad boy and I think what I want to do is head back to uh, the molehole castle and collect all of the records that we've managed to to loot from dungeons over the last two se two seasons and 87 episodes or whatever it is and uh, I think what we'll do is like let's install all the jukebox into the corner over here I think I reckon like yeah I reckon if we stick the jukebox like over there and then we can stick the records like yeah we can we can literally just put a chest on top of this player like this right there we go that looks pretty sweet like this is the little record player over here check it out I think we need to get the records though to play them I don't know if um, that jukebox consumes the records though I hope not that would suck um, and I guess, yeah, I don't know, this, I don't know, that doesn't really look that awesome, does it? No, it doesn't really. You know what we should do? I think what we should do is, is put the chest behind the bar. Yeah, that's what we should do. So we'll put the record chest over here. So the barman has access to the records. <laughs> it's like his record case. <laughs> oh man, that's actually awesome. Alright, uh, but the sun is just about to go down, so we better get into bed, have a catch a few Z's um, before we head back into the Molehole Castle to get those records. But man, I am super excited, guys, uh, about basically about this episode because, believe it or not, we are basically going to be uh, starting our return to Silkum Gang Island uh, very, very shortly. And we started this season, uh, season three in Silkum Gang Island, and we are now heading back to Silkum Gang Island to finish it off. Um, of course, we didn't actually finish Silkum Gang Island uh, in the end. We managed to build most of the fort itself. We, oh, oh, you, you butthole. Ow! No, 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 no! Whew! Doggy! 
Damn, that was close to death. Um, freaking Fresh Prince, man. The Fresh Prince almost killed us. I knew that this was going to be a problem. I just, I just knew it, man. Something in my soul told me that this Fresh Prince was going to get in the way when we were trying to use the railway line. You freaking butthole. You almost killed me, dude. Now I'm going to have to eat some steak because of you. Freaking bastard. Man, that was close. I don't know. Guys, we're going to have to do something about that at some point. Um, because uh, that was really close. I literally, What I had to do there was press shift to get out of the minecart. And that, that pushed me out of the block that we got stuck in there. But we literally almost got crushed by the trap door. Oh, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need a sip of this tasty beverage. Give me one second. Mm. All right. Oh, man. Anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, we started season three on Silkworm Gang Island. And uh, for those of you guys who have joined late in Season 3, firstly I'm going to say I'm angry with your asses for not watching the previous episodes and, and for not knowing what happened in the beginning of Season 3. But let me update you quickly, right? At the beginning of Season 3, we started uh, the season on an island called Silkworm Gang Island, just off the coast of the Rentopia mainland. And uh, we basically started from scratch. We, we didn't take any of our weapons or our tools or any of our crafting materials with us. And we started on this island from scratch. Uh, what we managed to do, and here are all of the records. Sweet, let's pick them up. Uh, and what we managed to do on the island was build up a sweet ass fort that was inspired by my childhood fort that, fort that I used to have at school, uh, at my junior school. So that is what Silkum Gang Island is. And it's kind of like a, a side quest challenge for this series where we, we aren't allowed to use any of the materials that we've gathered in the series so far. We're only allowed to use what we find on Silkum Gang Island or what we loot from the dungeons below Silkum Gang Island. So it's kind of cool, man. It's kind of like an alternative little quest that we've got going on. It's pretty awesome. And, uh, and we're going to be going back to Silkum Gang Island for the end of season three and we're going to be finishing off the fort well hopefully finishing it off and uh you know for me it's kind of it's kind of weird because it's been it hasn't been quite a year since the start of season three but it's been almost it's been almost a year since the start of season three and at the start of season three i was in a, a pretty bad like part of my life things weren't really going too well for me so um it's kind of important for me to go to come back to like the beginning again you know it's, it's kind of like going full circle i guess and um i think that it's going to be really really awesome i think that like fit like get going back to the start of season three is going to kind of be like a i don't know like like a new start for me in a way it's gonna it's gonna show me that you know what actually things didn't turn out that badly uh even though at that time it may have seemed like really really terrible and you know i wanted to jump into the thames and just freaking just end it all <laughs> um actually things turned turned out pretty well in the end so um i'm, I'm actually really looking forward to getting back to silicon gang island to be honest for for not only to like for like crafting and stuff like that but also for personal reasons um so yeah anyway check it out man we've got all of these sweet ass music discs over here we've got c14 41813 c418 cat got another c418 13 another c okay oh okay so there's only two <laughs> we've only got two different types of records so that's kind of meh but let, let's 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 stick a record in the jukebox see what happens bam Well, it's not quite jazzy, but it's it's certainly added a vibe to the Lakeside Villa Lounge. I'm kind of digging it, man. It's kind of sweet. Oh, and we can actually take the record out. Okay, sweet. All right. So that 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 one was kind of trippy. <laughs> let's try let's try C14 or C1813. Let's see what this record sounds like. Whoa, dudes! Is there a moose stream around here? Man, this music is not very jazzy, I must say. <laughs> I think I preferred the other one. I think I preferred the cat record. Yeah, man, that that is like some experimental freaking prog rock from the 70s going on over there, man. What the jazz? Anyway, that's that's pretty sweet. So so we'll stick that record in there. And uh, the patrons of the Lakeside Villa ja uh, Lounge can uh, jazz out inside of this place, sipping on their zombie brain cocktails. <laughs> um, but sweet, guys, that's awesome. Uh, I'm super stoked with how the Lakeside Villa has turned out. Very happy with how the guardhouse has turned out. 
very happy with how the whole thing has turned out and I think we'll probably leave it at that. I think there's still a little bit of work we still need to do on the Lakeside Villa, on the design and stuff on the outside of it all. Uh, but so far so good. I'm very happy with how it's turned out and season four I think we'll return to the to some architectural upgrades of the Lakeside Villa. But uh, as far as the interior is concerned, I, I think we're good man. I, I think we're good. I think we're good. Like things are looking awesome around here and definitely way like a way better upgrade to what it was before that's for shizzle and uh paloma's gonna chill in here i think you know what paloma's paloma's a bit of a posh cat you know she's got like a posh soul so i'm gonna let her stay i'm gonna let her stay there in uh in the lakeside villa she can chill there man she can be the lakeside villa kitty um although now we don't have a kitty in the in the in the molehill castle but that's okay jeez man this jukebox is pumping damn get out of here before I lose my freaking marbles <laughs> all right guys back to the mole hole we go and what I'm going to do now is collect the items required for today's mission which is going to be to finish off the the uh, the entrance holes of the underwater tunnel just outside of Silicon Gang Island so I'm gonna plan this bad boy collect everything that we need and I will see you sweet ass cyber dogs on the other side of this kaplawi kaplooey all right, my sub diggity diggity dogs, welcome back to the furnace rooms of the Mole Hole Castle. I've just popped in here before heading over to Silkworm Gang Island to repair my diamond pickaxe that has an unbreaking three enchant on it. I spent a diamond and 11 levels to repair this bad boy, and that's because this thing was in a, in red durability from the work that I was doing on the Lakeside Villa. And I don't want to repair it up to full because we want to preserve our diamonds and our levels for Minecraft 1.8, where it's going to be much cheaper to actually repair all of our sweet ass armor and, and items. But guys, we are on our way back to the underwater tunnel just outside of the Silkum Gang Island. And uh, one of you guys mentioned that I hadn't updated the sign in the in Grand Molehole Station yet. So there we go, all stops to Silkworm Gang Island. Uh, this is of course the Silkworm Railway Line, a newly installed line uh, to, that has become probably the longest railway line in, in Rentopia at the moment. I think that this line is actually longer than the Dogtown line. And you guys will see, man, this is kind of like my daily commute now. Um, <laughs> we're going to be working on Silkworm Gang Island for the next, I don't know, five or six episodes, if not more. And uh, I'm going to be heading back to the mole hole to get some of you guys up on the Dogolith and into the Cyberdog Monument. So I'm going to be taking this trip back and forth between the Rentopia mainland and Silkworm Gang Island quite a lot. And uh, this is going to be my daily commute, man. I'm going to wake up early in the morning, get my sandwich. Uh, get into this minecart and go go on a journey man listen to some music play some games on my freaking Android <laughs> oh man um, gotta say this is a way better commute than the commute that I used to take in London man it's way more interesting anyway freaking cow butthole oh 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 cow oh cow you you got in dude you got in the way of the wrong commuter man stay for stakeification compliant freaking cow butthole Oh man, cows, like cows in this series do not understand that I have a sword that can instantly transform them into a juicy ass steak. And yet they still mess with my ass. They still get in my way. They still freaking stand on railway carts, get like stop me traveling. Oh my goodness, man, seriously. I love cows, but man, I'm starting to hate them. <laughs> Every time I see cows now, man, I'm just going to stakeify their asses. Uh, but anyway guys, <laughs> we are coming to the end of our commute over here and we are coming toward the underwater tunnel just outside of Silkum Gang Island and uh, as you guys can see I've been doing a little bit of work uh, over here. Um, I've been trying to figure out exactly what we still need to do to finish off this tunnel. This tunnel runs underneath the channel between the Rentopia mainland and Silkum Gang Island over there. And Silkworm Gang Island is basically where we started Season 3. For those of you guys who can remember and for those of you guys who do not know that we started Season 3 on uh, Silkworm Gang Island, that is because you have not watched the previous episodes and I'm angry with your ass. And you see this powered rail that has a ton of electricity in it. It's going straight up your butthole. Unless you go back and watch Season 3 from the beginning. I thank you. <laughs> uh, but this underwater tunnel, guys, is basically what connects the Rentopia mainland to the Silkum Gang Island. And of course, we are not allowed to use any materials from the Rentopia mainland uh, on Silkum Gang Island. We're only allowed to use materials that we have collected on the island to craft stuff on the island. So what we're going to be doing in this episode is, is finishing off this tunnel. And in, in the next episode, we're probably going to start working on the Silkum Gang Railway Station, which is going to be sitting on top 
top of this tree canopy over here. And we've got a chest over here with some jazz in it. I think this is all loot from the mainland, so we're not really allowed to use any of this when we come back. Um, but we are, however, allowed to use stuff from Rentopia for the underwater tunnel because... Well, the underwater tunnel isn't quite Silkum Gang Island yet. It's kind of like the in-between the two lands. So, you know, I think we're allowed to use it. But anyway, what I want to work on today, guys, is the connection between the tunnel and the mainland on both sides of the tunnel. So at the moment, it's it's looking kind of ugly, especially on this side. As you can see, the tunnel just goes into some sand and some dirt over there. On this side, I've kind of uh, tried to make it a little bit better. We've got a, a like an end zone for the tunnel over here, but we still need to sort of upgrade these walls over here also. And I brought some detector rails too so that we can finish that off over there. So that's looking pretty sweet. And what we need to do now, I think is change these walls running all the way up this ramp over here to I think probably to cobblestone um, I, I thought about like doing it in, in wood but I think we should probably just do it in cobblestone it'll make a little bit more sense I think you know we don't want to put too much wood into the ocean even though the entire tunnel is made out of wood so that doesn't really make sense but I tell you what guys I'm a I'm a kaplan this bad boy and convert all of this jazz into cobblestone and uh, we'll, I'll bring you back on the other side of this kaplui we'll have a look at what that looks like Comply him. All right, my cyber diggity dogs, I have been working late into the night despite the dangers from creepers and zombies and scalar butts, and I have finished this tunnel entrance over here. I think it's looking pretty freaking sweet, man. I basically converted the whole thing into a sort of cobblestone structure with a wooden arch over here. And as you can see, uh, this looks pretty awesome, I think. Um, and I mean, we don't need to make it more complicated than this, I think. You know, we, we've got some glowstone in there. That looks pretty awesome. As you get into the tunnel, uh, it looks pretty awesome. So I think what we should probably do, though, is just give it one final test over here. Let's sit in a minecart and go down this hill over here. Uh, have a look at what this looks like. Just to make sure that we don't bump our head or that everything looks completely 100% awesome. So we're going to be coming uh, down this hill into the tunnel itself. And there we go. That's looking awesome. Uh, that's working very well. Now, I'm not entirely sure ab about how I feel about the sand underneath this glass over here. But I think it's okay. Because it's kind of like the it's kind of like the bed of the sandbank over here, right? It's like the bottom of the sandbank. So that's kind of, I, I don't know. I, I think it adds like a realism to it, which is pretty awesome. And uh, there is a creeper butt. Get away from the railway line, butthole. Whew, man. That sizzling um, still freaks me out, man. <laughs> still freaks me out after all this freaking time. But I think what I'm going to do is just add another block of cobblestone over here. There we go. All right, that's looking pretty awesome, guys. I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with how this tunnel entrance looks. And I think what we can do now is move on to the other side of the tunnel and start working on the entrance for this side. Uh, this side's going to take a lot more work, I think, because, um, I don't know, it's, it's just a little bit more... Like, I haven't done in a, a lot here at all. I haven't added any of the powered rails or anything like that. So I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to plan this bad boy. Uh, start, a, start working on this. Try to get to a point that I can show you. And uh, I'll bring you back on the other side of this complete. Kaplam! All right, cyber dogs, welcome back. I've just been working for the last 15 minutes on this tunnel entrance on the Silkworm Gang Island side, and it is starting to come together, uh, but I'm going to have to do quite a lot of excavation work over here to get rid of, well, basically to open up a block on each side of this line over here uh, so that we can build up a nice cobblestone entrance like we did on that side. But uh, downstairs, I've already managed to sort out this entrance over here, as you can see, looking pretty sweet, and it, it's exactly the same design as the other side of the tunnel so at the moment both sides of this tunnel are 100% symmetrical all I need to do now is open up the sides of this ramp over here uh, fill them in with cobblestone get some powered rails installed with some redstone torches and BAM we would have finished this project so I tell you what guys I'm gonna I'm gonna crack on with this and see if I can get it done uh, for the end of this episode and I will see you on the other side of this complaint complaint all right, Cyberdogs, welcome back. I have just finished the tunnel entrance on the Silkworm Gang Island side of the underwater tunnel. And as you can see, it is looking absolutely freaking sweet. This tunnel entrance is exactly the same as that tunnel entrance. It's the same height. It's the same design. And the tunnel, the underwater tunnel is now 100% symmetrical. Uh, well, at least I think it is. There might be a, like this, I think this ramp might be longer than that ramp. Uh, but well, up until this point, it is exactly the same as that ramp. Um, but then 
it obviously goes a little bit higher and then starts to wind up the tree over there but so far so good man i'm really loving how this tunnel has turned out all i need to do now is install the final bits of rails to complete the underwater tunnel over here and i think what we also still need to do is is make a connection between the underwater rail line and the railway line that starts winding up that tree uh, so that's something that I'm probably going to do off camera now, guys, because we are running out of time in this episode. But I'm very, very happy with what I've achieved in this episode, guys. Both entrances into the tunnel are now 100% symmetrical, looking freaking sweet. And it's no longer just the, these ugly ass ramps that go into this underwater tunnel. It now actually looks pretty awesome. And I just want to come have a look here. How did I do the, the powered rails? Okay, so it's the top one uh, and then the middle one. And then we've got a detector rail and a powered rail and that's going to push us all the way through the underwater tunnel man i love this tunnel so much it is so sweet um yeah i'm, I'm actually really looking forward to my commute man i can't wait to travel through this thing every day <laughs> uh, but there we go guys let's get this line running all the way up here and i think the way that i did it was powered rail over here uh rail rail powered rail yeah that's how we did it and the redstone torches are always on the left. No, the redstone torches are always on the right. Yeah, that's right. All right, so let's get a redstone torch installed over here. Redstone torch installed over here. And then what we can do in the next episode is start working on this connection over here. Of course, this is the line that runs all the way up the tree into the Silkworm Gang railway line. But at this point, we need to put down our tools. We need to put down everything other than the railway lines so that we can actually uh, start working on Silkworm Gang Island without using the equipment and the tools that we have uh, from the, the Rentopia mainland. Uh, but that's looking pretty awesome, guys. This tunnel entrance is now complete that tunnel entrance is now complete absolutely epic do we have a minecart in here yes we do all right so we can go on one little ride over here no no minecart bro <laughs> wait for me man dude don't don't just run off like that come on these freaking seeds man pick the seeds up as i drop the minecart and that glitched out my right click um but anyway let's try this one more time all right minecart don't leave us behind this time bro bam there we go, so sweet. Uh, for some reason, I'm at the bottom of the minecart here also. I think it's because I got on, on a ramp. Um, but there we go, guys. Looking absolutely awesome. Um, okay, let's try and do this properly this time. I mean, seriously. Come on, minecart. Zombie! Oh. <laughs> you can't touch this butthole! Eat it! I'm gonna kill you with some seeds. How does it feel? How does it feel to be myrtleized with seeds? Oh, wait. This is a bad idea. This is a, this is a very bad idea. Very bad idea. Say hello to my little friend. His name is Fang. Bam. There we go. Sweet. For some reason, our freaking minecart is glitching out now, man. <laughs> this is ever since I picked up these seeds. Oh man, this is some little face palms going on over here. Dude, back up, son. J just back up. Just back up. There we go. Um. Anyway. All right. No. Minecart. All right. You guys think we can do this? Uh, Incoming leprechaun! <laughs> Zombie! Get out of the way, dude! We are trying to do a fi- Oh my- We are trying to do a final run over here, man. Seriously! Alright, here we go, guys. Final run of the brand new underwater tunnel. Face Uh, Here we go, guys. Bam! Looking good! And now we go all the way through the tunnel, all the way up through the other side. And there we go. And that's going to propel us all the way into Silkworm Gang Railway Station. Oh man, I'm super stoked with this, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. That's all the time we have for today. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, you hit that subscribe button. This has been Ren Diggity Dog playing Minecraft Survival. And we will see you in the next episode when we're going to be taking our buttholes back to Silkworm Gang Island. And it is going to be freaking sweet. See you in the next episode, my friends. Goodbye.